Numerous NBA owners and players condemned Sterling's comments. Even President Obama weighed in, calling him ignorant. And Reds players are talking about today's decision as well. Local 12 Sports Director Brad Johansson is live from the ballpark with their thoughts. Brad? Uh, Rob, I, this kind of harkens back to the Marge Shot era that you and I remember very well. Obviously, Marge was suspended in 93 once, suspended in 96 twice, and take it till 99 before she was finally forced to sell the team to Carl Lindner. Uh, that's what everybody has been talking about, but all those here don't really remember back to the Marge Schott era. As you take a look at what Donald Sterling did and the penalty that he has received, it was so swift and quickly done by Adam Silver of the NBA. It didn't happen like that back in the 90s here with Marge Schott. But players obviously are talking about it in the clubhouse almost uncomfortably. I got the sense even in talking to guys, it wasn't something they wanted to talk about. Like, this is the major leagues, that's the NBA, I'm glad it's been done, but let's move on. Talk to Todd Frazier and Billy Hamilton just moments ago. Um, you know, I, I don't know all of what he said, but I know it, it's, it wasn't right what he said. So uh, I don't condone, you know, all the actions that he did. Uh, it's the NBA. It's a totally different beast than, than MLB. Um, you wish, it, you know, it never happened. You know, it, you know, the, the world is, is, is crude sometimes, so, but for us, you know, we're just playing baseball, so I, I can't really say much about it. And nothing you can do about it, that's his own opinion, that's just the way he feels, and, but the, the punishment he got was great, I think it was real, real great, so Silver, the one who gave him the punishment, was, did a great job, but, I mean, it's, it's life, it happens like that, you got to move on with it, so, I mean, he, he got his punishment, and everything's good, so I think it's over with now, so. I think what you've kind of seen here is solidarity among people who play professional games, who are dealing with professional ownership and want to feel like they have their backs covered. Certainly Adam Silver did that today with the NBA, and I think MLB feels the same way, at least to this point. The Clippers do play tonight, and the word out of Donald Sterling today is the club is not for sale. That's what we heard from Marge Schott as well before she finally was forced to sell or take another year suspension when she finally did that back in 99. The owners will have to vote in the NBA to make that happen. Live from Great American Ballpark, I'll have much more from here on the game that they are hoping to play against the Cubs coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, Rob, I'll send it back to you. Look forward to that, Brad. Thanks very much. In the past, Donald Sterling's faced federal charges of civil rights violations and racial discrimination in his business dealings. He's also been sued for sexual harassment by former employees. If the Clippers are sold, Sterling stands to get a considerable return on his investment. He bought the franchise for close to $13 million in 81. It's now valued at about $575 million.